Hi, I'm Jim Green, Director of Planetary Science at NASA. You know, NASA works with the international science community to explore our solar system and beyond. We look to unravel the mysteries that intrigue us all as we explore and answer the big questions. Questions like, how did the Earth originate and change over time? How did the solar system begin and evolve? And what will be its destiny? What will be our destiny? Last July 14th, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto, capping a half century of exploration of our solar system. It piqued our interest about what lies beyond Pluto and what can we learn about ourselves and the origins of our solar system. The idea of a new planet is certainly an exciting one for me as a planetary scientist, and I think for all of us. The January 20th paper in the Astronomical Journal is fueling our interest in planetary exploration and stimulating a healthy debate that's part of the scientific process. I couldn't be more pleased about what's happening. You know, it's all about starting the process that could lead to an exciting result. It is not, however, the detection of a new planet. It's too early to say with certainty that there is a so-called Planet X out there. What we're really seeing is an early prediction based on modeling from limited observations. What's exciting is that, like NASA's journey to Mars or New Horizons flyby of Pluto, you will have a front row seat to see how the scientific process unfolds. Theories like this serve to stimulate ideas and conversation. They tap into our innate curiosity. It's important for us to continue to work, and we will. Anytime we have an interesting idea like this, we always apply Carl Sagan's rules for critical thinking, which include independent confirmation of the facts, looking for alternate explanations, and encouraging scientific debate. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. Or we'll determine an alternate explanation for the data that we've received so far. Now, let's go explore. Thousands of years ago, the sky gazers of the classical world knew about six planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Thanks to the invention of the telescope, Uranus was discovered in 1781. But discrepancies in its orbit meant that something was tugging at it. Sure enough, that something turned out to be Neptune. Ever since, scientists have wondered if there might be yet another planet in our solar system, sometimes called Planet X. Now, astronomers have strong evidence for one. A planet roughly the size of Neptune, with a mass 10 times the Earth's, and a thick atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. Just as Neptune was predicted based on its influence on Uranus, the evidence for Planet X is indirect. Astronomers observe six small solar system objects and notice they come closest to the Sun in a unique configuration. There's only a 1 in 15,000 chance that this orbital clustering is a coincidence. It is much more likely that Planet X has shepherded the six objects into their orbits. This explodes our conception of the solar system because Planet X would loop around the Sun unimaginably far away in a strange elliptical orbit, so far away that it takes 15,000 years to make the trip. By comparison, Neptune's orbital period is 165 years. Of course, not everyone will be convinced of Planet X until we have visual proof. Researchers are now using one of the world's largest telescopes, Subaru, in Hawaii, and they say they have a reasonable chance of finding Planet X in the next five years. Once spotted, we can welcome Planet X as the ninth planet in our solar system. Nearly a decade ago, Pluto was demoted, leaving our solar system with only eight planets. 
One of the men instrumental in the small celestial orb's reclassification says he and a colleague have likely found a replacement for the now vacant ninth spot in our solar system lineup. A recently published paper written by self-described Pluto killer Mike Brown and his Caltech collaborator Constantine Betjigin makes a case for the existence of a very large planet far beyond Neptune and the Kuiper Belt. The two initially began their research to disprove a 2014 study that suggested dwarf planet arrangement irregularities in the area were caused by a much larger body. Brown's and Betjigin's extensive mathematical calculations and numerous computer models not only ended up supporting the theory, they strengthened the case. The astronomers do have yet to actually set eyes on the potential new ninth planet, but are working towards that end.